next two weeks, this week and next week for the lecture, last lecture. And then after that, you will have uh, one week for revision. And then you will start the final exam. So basically, you have three weeks to go for before the final exam. Okay, so spherical coordinates. Uh, before that, let us recall what we learned previously. Okay, let us recall what we learned previously. We have rectangular coordinates. I want you to write down everything. Okay, please write down these notes. So rectangular coordinate. We will have X, Y, and Z, isn't it? And then last week we also learned about, oh, last week kita punya kelas tergendala tu kan? Tapi saya ada bagi nota jawapan solution for you and all, I also share with you the lecture with section 7. Okay, so cylindrical coordinates. We have uh, R, theta and Z. Okay, so that's the rectangular coordinate and cylindrical coordinates. Okay, so for spherical coordinates, we will have coordinate of uh, rho, uh, theta and phi. Okay, so this is called as rho. This is not P, eh? nama dia rho, R-H-O. And this is theta, the angle. And then this also the angle phi. PHY phi. Okay, so kita ada rho, theta and phi. All right. The procedure, yes, the same. Because we will have online final exam. So it will be the same procedure as our test. Yes. Okay, so now uh, let us learn the formulas for all of these variables. First of all, uh, let us start with rho. Okay, so rho squared equals to x squared plus y squared plus x squared. Okay, rho squared equals to x squared plus y squared plus x squared. So basically, rho is actually the radius of sphere. Okay, rho is actually the radius of sphere. Okay, and then number two, we will have, uh, we have rho, tadi rho, now r. Okay, r in spherical, right? R in spherical is rho sine phi. Okay, rho sine phi. Alright, and then next, x. Okay, let us recall back. In cylindrical coordinates, x equals to what in cylindrical coordinates? R cos theta. Yes, good. Very good. R cos theta. Thank you very much. R cos theta. Okay, now we have uh, this. We have rho. Okay, R equals to rho sine theta. Or so rho sine phi. Therefore, X equals to R cos theta. R to the jadi rho sine phi sine cos theta. Okay, because this is R. All right. And then we also have Y equals to what? Hmm. In spherical. Rho sine phi sine theta. Yes, very good. Rho sine phi sine theta. Yes, because in cylindrical, we have Y equals to R sine theta, isn't it? So below R equals to uh, y equals to r sine theta, therefore y equals to rho sine phi sine theta since this is our r. Okay. And then we also have uh, the same thing happen here. Just like cylindrical coordinates, we will have tangent theta equals to y over x. Okay. And then we will have... Uh, 
Okay, we will have oh before that x y z ah setting z z in spherical is equals to rho cos phi. Okay, z equals to rho cos phi. All right, and then uh, tangent phi. Tangent phi means okay. Tangent phi means. Uh, the formula of tangent phi is r over z. Hmm. Like this. Why? Because, okay, look at the formula of r. r equals to rho sine phi and z equals to rho cos phi, isn't it? So, we will have, okay, this like this. It is like this. R is rho sine phi and this is rho cos phi. Okay, so as we know, sine over cos is tangent, isn't it? So this rho can be cancelled, then we have tangent phi. That's why we have tangent phi equals to R over z. Understand? Eh, paham ke tak eh? Yes. Faham, faham. Faham, Ibu. Okay. So next, apa lagi formula? Eh? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, okay. We, I will explain to you about the angle. Okay. Why we have two angle in two angles in spherical coordinates? First, we will have um, theta. Okay, theta as usual, the minimum is zero until two pi. So we will refer to region R. Okay, refer to region R in order to find the limit of angle. Okay, which region R means x exists and y exists. Okay, and then the last one, we will have the formula of uh, phi, okay, phi is starting from zero until pi only. Okay, and then for phi, we will refer to z as this. Okay, it's like this. Let's say I give you example uh, of a sphere. Okay, let's say this is our region. G, any region G, X, Y, and Z, 3D. So below 3D, it must be region G. Okay, guys, so we will have, let's say this is the sphere. Okay, and the values here, of course, equals to rho. Okay, because rho is the radius here, also rho. In the front, also the rho. Okay, now let me explain to you about theta first. Okay, theta means x axis and y axis. So I'm going to use uh, blue color. Okay, so angle theta, angle theta is by referring to the xy plane. So we will start from x positive. Okay, x positive at the front until here. Okay, until here. So we will have theta. All right, theta is from zero until two pi. Okay, kita start daripada pasi x positive sampai surround the uh, three hundred and sixty degrees. So that is theta. Okay, and then. Uh, for angle phi, uh, be careful, guys. Angle phi is by referring to the z axis. So kita akan start. We start from x, uh, from z positive. Okay, from z positive until from z positive until here. So this is your phi equals to pi. Okay. Phi dia hanya ada from Z positive until Z negative. 
So what happened guys? Okay, what happened? If you have V equals to pi over 2, means this is a hemisphere. Maksudnya dia cover sampai kalau V equals to pi over 2, Okay, you all punya graph tu dia akan jadi hemisphere je. Should be a hemisphere because it just uh, starting daripada from the axis to here. Just phi equals to pi over 2. So dia jadi hemisphere. Okay. Understand the differences between theta and phi? Yes, doctor. Okay, good. Yes. All right. So now let us do some uh, uh, exercises from 4.6.3. Uh, 4.6.3. Okay, I believe for question number one, number two is directly by using the formula. So let us proceed to question number three. Okay, I believe you can answer question number one and number two pretty well because it's just very simple. So exercise 4.6.3 eh. Question number 3 All right Okay, so rho equals to 5. The question asks you to uh, express okay, this equation into rectangular coordinates and then we need to sketch the surface. Alright, so you are given spherical equations and we need to find the rectangular equations. Okay, so we need to change into x, y and z. Ah, of course, so question 3a. We have rho equals to square root of 5. So let us change the formula of uh, rho into the rectangular equation. We have this formula. So of course rho is square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to square root of 5. Therefore we can have x squared plus y squared to y plus y squared plus z squared equals to 5. So this is a circle with radius 5. Alright, so let us sketch the circle. We have x, y and z. Okay, so here 5, 5. Okay, so settle. That's question number 3A. Okay, 3B, theta equals to pi over 4. 3B, theta equals to pi over 4. So, which formulas that we will use from here? I'm not going to formulate money. Which formula? Carinya ada theta lah guys. So we will have this tangent theta equals to y over x. So we are going to use this formula. Okay. So what happened now? Uh, tangent theta equals to r over z. If r over z pula. Tangent theta equals to y over x. Uh, so, theta is pi over 4, therefore tangent pi over 4 equals to y over x. If you use your calculator, this is equivalent to 1, isn't it? So, we will have 1 equals to y over x, therefore our equation becomes y equals to x. So, if we sketch the surface, okay, surface means 3D, so we can sketch 3D lah. Okay, x as is, y and z. 
Okay, y equals to x. So we don't have uh, any z in the equation. So it should be parallel along z axis. So this is the surface of y equals to x. Okay, of course, from here we know that the angle theta from x positive, theta equals to pi over 4. Okay, so after this, if you see this equation, you know that this is a plane. Okay, a plane. So to plane lah. All right, now 3c. 3c is phi equals to pi over 4. Ah. 3c tangent phi equals to pi over 4. Okay, look at the formula. We have this tangent phi equals to r over z. So let us substitute the formula. Okay, tangent phi, the tangent phi pula. Phi saja ni. Ni tak ada. Okay, tangent phi equals to r over z. So since uh, theta equals to pi over 4, substitute here, we have tangent equals to pi over 4 equals to r over z. So again, this is equivalent to 1, so r over z. So therefore, z equals to r. Okay, so now if we change this equation r into rectangular coordinates, we know that z equals to square root of x squared plus y squared. So this is a what? What type of surface do we have here? Bentuk apa ni? Cone. Cone, yes, very good. This is a cone. Okay, a cone. Yes, very good. So we will have this. So a cone like this. Okay. So now, Kamana, where is the position of phi equals to pi over 4? Okay. Phi equals to pi over 4 is starting from z axis until the line. So we have phi equals to pi over 4 like this. So after this, if you see this type of equation, uh, you nampak je benda ni, you dah tahu dah, ini adalah cone. Understand? Understand guys? Yes, understand. Okay, so next, uh, question number, number four. Okay, yeah, let us do question number four, some of this. Question four. All right. Uh, oh, saya tak sambil soalan lah. Soalan ni tanya apa? An equation of surface is given in rectangular coordinates. Okay, we are given a surface in rectangular coordinates. So we need to find the equation in spherical coordinates. Okay, previously we changed from spherical to rectangular. But now we want to change from rectangular to spherical equation. So we will have, okay, question A. Z equals to 5. So just uh, look at the formula z equals to rho cos phi. Okay, this is the formula. Z equals to rho cos phi. So we will have rho cos phi equals to 5. Therefore, rho equals to 5 over cos phi. So equivalent to what? 1 over cos means? Ah, 1 over cos is the same as secant, right? Yeah, secant, secant theta plus secant phi. Yeah, so this is the answer. Okay. Now, question 4b. Y equals to 1. 
y equals to 1. So previously we know that from the formula y equals to this y equals to rho sine phi sine theta. So we will have rho sine phi sine theta equals to 1. Therefore, rho equals to 1 over sine phi sine theta. Therefore, rho 1 over sine phi is actually uh, 1 over sine, apa tadi? 1 over cosecant. Kalau 1 over sine? Cosecant. Yeah, so we will have cosecant phi and cosecant theta. That's it. That's the answer. Okay, next. This one. Z equals to 2x squared plus y squared. So question for C. Z equals to 2x squared plus y squared. What should we do first? First step, kena buat apa ni? Z equals to, to what? R. Yes, very good. R squared, isn't it? And then substitute R in spherical. Apa dia tadi? R equals to what? Hmm. P. Rho sine phi. Yes, very good. Rho sine phi. Okay, Z equals to rho sine phi. Uh, this should be rho squared. Lah. Rho squared. Sine squared. Ah, macam tu. Okay, Z ni pun kita kena ganti lah kan dalam spherical. So, spherical Z equals to what? This is Z. Rho ah. cos phi. Yes, rho cos phi equals to 2 rho squared sine squared phi. Ha, macam tu. So, we can cancel the rho, isn't it? So, we can cancel the rho. Kita akan dapat, let's just say I change the position. So, we have 2 rho squared sine squared phi equals to cos phi. Mm, so, this one uh, can be cancelled. Power of 2 ni jadi power of 1 ni habis. So we have uh, 2 sines, eh, 2 rho. 2 rho sine squared phi equals to cos phi. So rho equals to 1 over 2 cos phi multiplied by sine squared phi. So this can be rewritten as 1 over 2 cos phi over sine phi darabkan dengan 1 over sine phi, isn't it? Sine squared phi tu, saya pecahkan. So, we will have rho equals to 1 over 2 cos over sine means equals to? Hmm. Sine phi. Hmm, cotangent, isn't it? Kalau sine over cos baru tangent kan? Sekarang ni cos over sine uh, jadi cotangent lah. Sine over cos baru tangent. So cos over sine is cotangent phi. And then multiply by 1 over sine is apa tadi? Cosecant phi. Right? So that's the answer. Okay. So you can try the rest of the equation lah. Alright. So now, hmm, let us proceed. Hmm. 4.6.4, triple integrals. Ha, ni yang penting ni, triple integrals in spherical coordinates. Okay, triple integrals in spherical coordinates. Uh, let us recall. Hmm, kita recall dulu. Macam biasa, saya suka recall dulu. So that you can, you all boleh relate lah. Recall previously, uh, in rectangular, we have triple integrals with respect to region G. We have F, X, Y, Z, D, V, isn't it? dv where dv is actually we can have 
dv as dz dy dx or dz dx dy kan you boleh change the position lah that is rectangular okay and then we also have cylindrical in cylindrical we have triple integrals with respect to g the function involved here is r theta and z Okay, in cylindrical, dv tu jadi apa guys? <coughs> dv ni apa? Tu tak tengok lagi video last week lah tu yang saya share dekat group whatsapp tu. Dr. Ah, dr apa? D theta, dz. Ah, dia kena start dengan, okay. Ah, kalau, okay, before this, uh, kalau 2D, double integral in polar, we call again double integral, integral in polar, you all ada dua, tiga beradik kan? DA equals to R, DR, D theta, isn't it? Ingat lagi tak saya kata tiga beradik tu? DA equals to R, DR, D theta. Still remember? Double integral in polar. We have three yes. terms. Okay, three terms. R, D, R, D, theta. Okay, now in cylindrical, cylindrical means 3D. So, triple. So, bila triple, kalau tadi double integral, kita ada tiga beradik. Okay, one, two, three ni. One, two and three. D, R, D, R, D, theta. Okay, in cylindrical, we will have four terms. Okay, we will have four terms which are R, D, Z, D, R, D, theta. So, kita ada four terms ni. Empat benda ni, four terms. Okay. Now, in spherical. Ha, ni. In spherical. Ha, ni yang kita nak belajar hari ni ni. In spherical, kita akan ada triple integrals. Alright. F, R, theta, Z tu dia jadi F, rho, theta phi, okay, or rho phi theta, either one lah. And then kita punya dv guys, for spherical, kita ada five terms, ada lima terms, okay, which are rho squared sine phi, d rho, d phi, d theta, okay. Ni adalah you all punya dv ni. Ni adalah dv awak. dv. Okay, dia ada five terms. Five terms. Rho squared, sin phi, d rho, d phi, d theta. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ha, ni wajib ada. This is your dv. Dia bukan belum belum function kat tengah lagi ya. Function kat tengah ya ni. This is the function. Nah, ini dv ni yang belakang ni. Dia ada five terms. Okay. And then the first limit should be row one, row two. And then phi one, phi two. Phi. I'm confused dengan theta pula. Sekejap. Phi two lah. Ni theta one and theta two. Okay guys. Uh, the position for theta and phi can be changed. Okay, so you can have uh, integral with respect to theta first, followed by phi. So it's up to you lah. Eh? But rho, rho must be the first lah. Okay, rho must be the first. Okay, so let us do uh, question number one from ex exercise 4.6.4. Kita ambil yang paling simple dulu. Okay, question number one. Okay, we have to sketch the region G and evaluate the iterative integral. Okay, before we evaluate the integration, let us sketch the region G. So if you notice here, okay, look here carefully. Make sure you understand this. First of all, in order to sketch the region G, oh, sorry, 
the region G is comes from the limit. Okay, look at the limit. Okay, that is your region G. So from here, we have a limit of rho is starting from 0 until 2. Okay, limit of rho is from 0 until 2. So we have rho from 0 until 2. So we know that the rho equals to 2. Okay, rho equals to 2. Ini bukan P, eh? ini rho. And then we have the limit of phi. Okay, so phi from 0 until pi over 2. So we will have phi from 0 until pi over 2. And then the limit of theta is from 0 until pi. So we will have theta from 0 until pi. Okay, so let us sketch the region based on this limit. Okay, guys. So what happened here? Okay, what is the radius of this sphere, guys? Two. Two, yes, very good. It's equals to two. Okay, like this. So we have two, two here. Okay, so settle on phi. So habis settle part ni. Okay, now look at your phi. Okay, look at your phi. Your phi is starting from... 0 until pi over 2. Okay, phi ni nak refer pada part siapa? Saya ajar tadi. Look at, starting from, which exists? Z exists. Yes, Z exists. Okay, good. Z exists. So, we will plot, we will have phi starting from 0, part si Z positive ni, sampai lah ke pi over 2. Okay, until pi over 2 ni. So, pi over 2 means... From here until here, right? Phi equals to pi over 2. So, dia adalah sphere penuh ke? Hemisphere. Hemisphere, yes. Very good. It's a hemisphere. So, we can erase this part. Oh, sorry. Partial. Okay, so we can erase this part. Bawah ni tak ada. Because our phi only until pi over 2. Kalau phi sampai pi, barulah a complete sphere. Okay? Now, we look at angle theta. Okay, I'm going to use blue color. Okay, so angle theta, we will refer to which axis? X exists. Yes, X exists and Y exists. Okay, so starting from the positive x, sampai lah ke pi, which means pi sebelah mana guys, daripada depan ke, ke mana tu, sampai pi. From zero, uh, depan ni zero, until to the back, isn't it? Sampai belakang kan? Yes. Betul tak? Uh, so theta, oops. So, theta equals to pi. Ah, macam tu. Okay, until pi. So, we we don't have a complete circle. Okay, kalau complete circle, theta from 0 until 2 pi. But, in, but now, our limit theta is until pi sahaja. Only until pi. So, we don't have this part on the left. We don't have the left side. We just have uh, the right side. So actually guys, this is a quarter of sphere. Suku je ni. Okay. A quarter of sphere. Okay, let me rewrite this. Resketch this. So I resketch balik lah. Pening tengok lah. So dia jadi macam ni sebenarnya. Our region G is like this. Ok, 
Okay, X, Y, and Z. Okay, starting from the front to the back. Okay, we have this, we have this, and then we have this. So, sampai sini saja lah. Alright, this is row equals to 2, row equals to 2. So, we have a quarter of sphere. This is your region R. Hmm. Suku sphere je sebenarnya. Understand how to sketch? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, so, barulah boleh integrate. Hmm. Jom kita integrate. Starting from 0 until pi. 0 until pi over 2. 0 until 2. Okay, rho cube sin phi d rho d phi d theta. Okay, guys, now uh, we have the function here. Ni. Rho cube. Kenapa rho cube? Because our dv is actually rho squared sin phi d rho d phi d theta, isn't it? That is our dv. And this rho is multiplied by rho. So, function kita sekarang ni adalah rho sahaja. Okay, only rho. Because this terms, terms ni adalah kita punya dv. Uh, ni adalah dv. Understand guys? Faham tak apa yang saya cakap ni? Faham ni Tim. Tak tak faham pula. Tu lima tau setelah dv awak tau. Sekiranya function awak sekarang ni adalah rho saja. Okay? So now, tak apa. Itu saya just nak bagi you faham betul-betul lah konsep spherical. Okay, so let us proceed with the integration. So 0 anti pi, 0 anti pi over 2, integrate rho cube becomes rho to the power of 4 over 4. Substitute 0 and 2. So we have sin phi. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16 divided by 4 should be 4 lah. Okay, so take out 4. So integrate sine phi, we get what? Negative cos phi, isn't it? Okay, integrate sine dapat negative Cos kan? Ya. Yeah. Eh kejap, saya tertinggal ni. Ni, ada cos lagi kat sini. Hmm, sorry, sorry guys. So panjang lagi ni. Cos apa ni? Cos V. Cos V D Rho D V D Theta So kita punya function bukanlah Rho What is our function now? Kita punya function adalah Rho Cos V Yes very good Rho Cos V Yes very good okay So this is our function Rho Cos V Direct Rho Squared Sin V Okay, good, well done. Hmm. Maksudnya complicated sikit lah ni. It's not that easy. Patut saya kata macam senang pula soalan ni. Rupanya saya, tak, saya terlupa nak salin ni. So, tertinggal this one. Cos V D V D theta. This also cos v d v d theta okay so it's not like this lah ni simple sangat ni okay now we want to integrate sin v cos v dua-dua v so what we should do is we need to have a substitution 
Okay, we let u equals to sine phi. So differentiate u equals to cos phi d phi. So nanti, guys, you all boleh cancel ni. Cos phi d phi ni. So dia boleh cancel jadi du. Alright, and then you can, now you can substitute in the limit. Actually, you can substitute later. It's up to you. Eh, terpulang. Ada setengah student, dia suka substitute kemudian. Sama je. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Eh, it's up to you lah. Terpulang pada you eh. Okay, let's say saya substitute dululah. When hmm, V equals to pi over 2, we will have U equals to sine pi over 2. So, sine pi over 2 is 1. When V equals to 0, eh, based on the values here, 0 and pi over 2 ni. So, we will have U equals to sine 0, should be 0 lah. Alright, so let us proceed. Equals to 4, 0 until pi. So we will have 0 until 1. Okay, because we substitute this and this. And then sine phi is your u. Okay, u. And then uh, this cos phi, this d phi is actually du. So du. Okay. Ah, actually. And then d theta. So we just integrate u with respect to u. Of course, we can have u squared over 2, isn't it? So u squared over 2, substitute 0 and 1 d theta. So we will have 1 over 2. So 4 times 1 over 2. And then integrate 0 until pi d theta. So 2 multiply by integrate 1 with respect to theta, you should get pi. Therefore, the answer is 2 pi. Okay, that's it. So that's the first question. Okay, next question number two. Mm. We need to calculate volume. Okay, question number two. Use spherical coordinates to find the volume of the solid. Okay, first of all, let us sketch. Uh, let us sketch the region. Okay, so we have phi uh, rho equals to three. Okay, is it bounded above, above by the sphere rho equals to three, and then bounded below by the cone phi equals to pi over four. All right, so we will have. This region. Okay, step by step. Eh? First, we have a sphere. Okay, this sphere. We radius 3. Okay, like this and like this. Next, we have a cone. V equals to pi over 4. We know already the cone. Let's see, I use uh, blue color. Okay, this is the cone. So, so Allah ni kata, bounded above by sphere. Okay, above by sphere and below by the cone. Below by the cone. So, we just have uh, an ice cream cone, isn't it? Macam cone ice cream, kan? So, if we, if I re-sketch the, the region, it should be looks like this. Okay, I will have this. This is x, y, and z. Ah, okay. So now, um, okay. As we know, this is your phi lah. Phi equals to pi over four. All right. Now, if you see from above, we can see the region R, isn't it? So, region R ni adalah 
a complete circle kan daripada atas you akan dapat bentuk bulat kan this is your region R actually why do we need to know the region R kenapa perlu tahu region R because from region R we can identify the limit of theta Okay, so from region R, we can see the limit of theta. Alright, so now let us straight away calculate the volume V equals to, okay, triple integrals. Is there any function in the middle? Ada tak guys, function in the middle? Kalau tak ada volume. No. Okay, no, we just have one. Alright, because if we calculate volume, means F rho theta phi equals to one lah. Okay, and then we have what? DV. So, but volume kan macam ni, formula dia, triple integrals, G, DV, isn't it? So, DV kita apa tadi? In the last spherical? What is our dv in spherical? Ada five terms tadi tu. Apa dia guys? Five terms tadi. Rho squared sine hmm. phi. Yes, rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. Okay, so now kita letak limit rho. Rho equals to zero from zero until three. Eh, sebab we have 3 tadi, ni, this is rho equals to 3. So 0 until 3, how about phi? Limit of phi from 0 until pi over 4 lah. Okay, pi over 4, yes, pi over 4. Pi over 4. How about theta? 2 pi. Yes, good. Theta from 0 until 2 pi. Sebab because we have a complete cone ice cream tu kan, dia bulat penuh. Okay, so that's why from 0 until 360 degrees. So we have 0 until 2 pi. Okay, so let us proceed with the calculation of this volume. So rho squared becomes rho cube over 3, substitute 0 and 3, sine phi d phi d theta so we have um, 3 cube is 20 9 kali 3 7 with 3 9 ok sin phi d phi d theta so integrate sin phi 9 can be taken out uh, ni baru you dapat negative cos phi lah Substitute 0 and pi di theta. So we have 9, mm, 0 until 2 pi. Uh, so doctor, negative. Yes? Bukan pi over 4. Eh, pi over 4, yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, saya ni kadang terkeles lah juga. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So negative cos pi over 4. Alright, minus negative cos zero. Okay, thank you very much. D theta. Okay, so if you use your calculator, cos pi over 4 is equivalent to 1 over square root 2 or 2 over square root 2. Sama lah. Okay, and then cos zero is 1. So, dia akan jadi 9. Negative 1 over square root 2 minus minus 1 becomes plus 1 d theta. So since this is just a constant, we can take this out. So 1 minus 1 over square root 2 integrate 0 until 2 pi d theta. So we have um, of course 2 pi lah kan? So the answer is should be 18 pi, 1 minus 1 over square root 2. Okay, like this. Okay, done. Next question number 3. Mm. 
question number three, it said that inside the sphere and outside the cones. Macam mana tu? Inside the sphere and outside the cones. Can you imagine? Yes. Hmm. Boleh imagine dia ni, dalam kon tapi luar eh, dalam kon yeah. dalam sphere, outside kon, luar kon Dia ada lubang Dia ada lubang Lubang kon Lubang kon Kon tu dibuang <laughs> Okay, equals to 4 kan So right now, uh, from here we can find what ni? We can find the row Okay, so row square equals to 4 Therefore row equals to 2 Okay Next, we have this z squared equals to x squared plus y squared. So, kita ada z squared sama dengan r squared lah kan? So, from here, um, okay, from this, we can have the phi actually. Because tangent phi equals to r over z. So, dalam kes ni, since z equals to r, so, therefore, tangent phi equals to 1. Yeah. So, sebab z equals to r ni. Nilai z, just the same like r. So, when r divided by z equals to 1 lah. So, phi equals to shift tangent 1. So, phi equals to 45 degrees or pi over 4. Okay, settle lah. So, ini kita dah tahu dah limit radius, uh, limit radius lah. Limit for the row and limit for the phi. Okay, now let's uh, sketch the region. Okay, region G. Ni ada sphere. Hmm, betul tadi tu dia ada sphere, lepas tu dalam tu dia ada cone kan Ok so sphere And then inside the sphere we have cones, ha, plural Hati-hati yang dalam final exam, kalau dia kata cones maksudnya dua cones lah Upside down, ha, ada dua Butuh side, let's say I use hmm, Kalau apa ni, purple lah Okay, purple So we have this cone And this cone hmm. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, ni, Blue color, saya nak shade region ni so kat mana ni guys? Inside the sphere, outside the cones. We have this part, right? Yes. Okay. Atas dengan bawah, termasuk tak? Ah, atas dengan bawah. Yes. Ah, yes. Sebab atas ni sphere. Okay, kita hanya buang bahagian cone tu saja. That's correct lah. So, we remove the, the cone parts. Okay. Now, we have two cones guys. Ada dua cone sekarang ni. Okay. We know that, hmm, we know that from Z as this to here, this is phi equals to pi over 4. Okay, that is phi equals to pi over 4. What is the values of phi here, from here to here? Ah, tadi yang first two phi 1 equals to pi over 4. Second phi? Pi minus pi over 4. Yes, okay. So the second phi should be, alright, tadi phi 1 equals to pi over 4. So, phi 2 equals to pi minus pi over 4. So we will have 3 pi over 4. Okay, so the limit of phi should be from pi over 4 until 3 pi over 4 lah. So we have this. is 3 pi over 4. Macam tu. Okay, and then now uh, the limit of 
uh, data, angle. Kalau you pandang daripada atas lah guys, apa yang you akan nampak sebenarnya? Bulat. Ah yes, a complete circle, yes. Okay, so we can see a complete circle, therefore theta should be from zero until two five. Yes, so we can proceed with the uh, volume. Okay, v equals to triple integrals with respect to g dv. So we have uh, dv is rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. So now limit of rho, rho is, uh, mana tadi rho? Rho equals to 2. Okay, we have rho here equals to 2, the radius of the sphere. So rho from 0 until 2. And then now phi, uh, so I explained that if phi is starting from pi over 4 until 3 pi over 4 and then theta is from 0 until 2 pi. So let us proceed 0 until 2 pi, pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So rho cube over 3 substitute 0 and 2. We have sine phi. So 2 cube is 8. So 8 over 3 can be taken out. We have 0 until 2 pi. Eh, 0 pula. Pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, sine phi. So integrate sine phi, we will have negative cos phi, just like previous question. So 8 over 3, 0 until 2 pi. Negative cos 3 pi over 4 minus negative cos pi over 4. D theta. So this is actually 3 pi over 4 is negative 1 over square root 2. You can use your calculator, guys. And then negative cos pi over 4 is positive. So negative, this is negative 1 over square root 2. So negative. Eh, positive so but you first quotient okay so we will have 8 over 3 mm, positive 1 over square root 2 minus minus become plus 1 over square root 2 d theta okay so we will have mm, 8 over 3 Multiply by 2 over square root 2 lah, of course. And then integrate 0 until 2 pi d theta. So we will multiply by 16 over 3 square root 2. And theta is 2 pi. So this is equivalent to 32 pi over 3 square root 2. Okay, or... Um, this is also equivalent to 2 pi square root 2, 16 over 3 square root 2 lah. So about square root 2 ni equals to square root 2 times square root 2 seconds. So, ah, boleh lah. Pi, like this, I don't want lah. Okay, understand? The steps, guys, understand the steps? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, next question number four. You are given uh, cylindrical coordinates and then we need to change into spherical coordinates. Okay. Ni pun biasa keluar dalam final exam ni. Question four. Okay, so first of all, we want to sketch the region. Not sketch region G, tengok apa? We refer to? In order to sketch region G, we need to refer to what? 
Limits. Limits. Yes, the limits. Yes, very good. The limits. Okay, so limits of z. Z equals to zero until one square root of one minus x squared minus x squared and minus y squared. So we have, sorry, we have z equals to square root of one minus x squared minus y squared. Mm. So if we square both sides, we will have x squared plus y squared plus x squared equals to one, isn't it? Therefore, we will have rho equals to one, lah. rho squared equals to one. So rho, of course, rho equals to one. So from the original function here, this is a what? Even to open it. Let me have the square root sign. Ah, yes, hemisphere. Ah, hemisphere. Can I the square root sign though? Kalau ini dia complete kan bawah ni, tapi dia punya original equation ada square root sign. So, it becomes hemisphere. Okay, however, kita tengok confirm tak ada hemisphere. Guys, this one, limit for x dengan y ni, ini adalah region R kan? Limit for x dengan y ni. Okay, for region R. Tadi region G tau, the keseluruhan ni region G yang Z ni. Region R kita tengok eh, limit Y is from 0 until square root of 1 minus X squared and then X is from negative 1 until 1. Okay, X from negative 1 until 1. Kalau kita squarekan equations ni, y squared equals to 1 minus x squared jadi x squared plus y squared equals to 1 suppose dia adalah circle kan saya nak sketch region r je dulu ni saya nak you faham so i will do it step by step but we have square root sign which means that this becomes a semicircle isn't it semicircle sebelah atas sajalah Okay, because y positive. And then of course it starts from negative 1 until 1. So this is your region R. Okay, so jom kita start sketch kita punya region G yang complete. Okay, region G. Kenapa saya buat macam ni? So that kita akan dapat range yang betul bila kita lukis region G nanti. Okay, sebab so, not necessarily we will have a semicircle. Sekejap saya tunjuk nanti kenapa macam tu eh. Okay, let's say you sketch the semicircle. Dengan jari satu. Okay, but now we know that the region R is from x equals to negative 1 until 1 and then y from 0 which means that we don't have which part region r kalau kita tengok the semicircle kan on the left side ah kita tak ada yang bahagian left side yes very good we just have a right side saja this side okay so yes quarter sphere so one at the back is negative 1. Uh, y ni 1. Macam ni lah ni tadi 1 kan. So it becomes quarter. So kita ada kat sini. Dengan kat sini. And then this one. Uh, yang this part ni you boleh erase lah. Tak ada ni. Understand guys? Understand. Hmm. Okay. So, jom kita convert kepada daripada rectangular to spherical. We have, apa tadi? Zero, and negative one until one. Negative one until one. Zero until square root of one minus x squared. Zero until square root of one minus x squared minus y squared. Exponent, hmm. negative x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the power of 3 3 
over 2 and then dz divided dx hmm. nak convert kepada spherical equals to triple integral ok rho, limit of rho from 0 until 1 isn't it? sebab radius dia 1, 0 until 1 Okay, so according to this uh, region G, what is your fee, guys? Fee daripada 0 until? Pi. Pi ke pi over 2? Pi over 2. Yes, pi over 2. Because dia sampai sini je kan? Tadi saya duduk sini, pumpang, pumpang, pumpang. Ha, sampai sini je. Sebab dia hemisphere kan? And then how about the theta? Zero until pi. Yes, yeah, zero until pi. Very good. Okay, because from here, automatically we know that zero until pi at the back. Hmm? Okay, so settle. Nah, bila jadi spherical, lebih mudah lah integration tu. Zero until pi over two, zero until pi. Okay, now, tugas kita seterusnya is we need to change this into uh, spherical coordinates. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equivalent to what? Rho squared. Yes, rho squared to the power of 3 over 2 lagi tu. Ni. So equ equals to rho squared to the power of 3 over 2. Jadi rho cube lah. Okay. Sebab dua tu boleh cancel kan? So jadilah rho cube. So we will have exponent to the power of negative rho cube. Ha, macam tu. Uh, boleh faham tak ni guys? Apa yang saya buat ni? Boleh boleh. Boleh boleh. Okay now ni tiga ni. Dz dy dx ni apa dalam spherical? Hmm, nak tukar kepada spherical. Dz dy dx ni apa? Rho square. Yes. Uh, tadi tu lah yang 5 terms tadi tu, 5 beradik tu. Rho square sin phi d rho d phi d theta. Hmm. Now we can integrate this. Okay. Look here guys. Kita ada rho cube. Kita ada rho square kat sini. So we need to have uh, substitution so we let u equals to negative 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 tak ialah negative nanti open ni ok rho cube uh, macam tu so differentiate u we will get 3 rho squared d rho ok 3 rho squared d rho so next let's say we change the the limit, tapi kalau change pun sama je ni saya sebab dia kosong satu when rho equals to 1 we have u equals to 1 cube equals to 1 lah and then when rho equals to 0 ah, kan sama u equals to 0 cube so equals to 0 alright so let us proceed 0 anti pi, 0 anti pi over 2, 0 anti 1, exponent negative u. Ha ni, macam mana ni? From here, dp, dp pula. D rho equals to du over 3 rho squared, isn't it? So, darab dengan rho squared sin phi d, d rho ni equals to du over 3 rho squared. So, du over 3 rho squared. Ha, macam tu. d phi d theta. Okay. So, we can cancel this. Rho cube. Eh, rho cube pula. Rho squared dengan rho squared ni. So, jadi 1 per 3 lah. 1 over 3. Alright. So, we will have. Okay, 1 over 3 can be taken out. 1 over 3. So, 0 anti pi, 0 anti pi over 2, 0 anti 1, exponent negative u, sin phi du d phi d theta. Integrate exponent negative u with respect to u. Terhadap u, sin phi tu just a constant. 
sebab kita nak integrate partially terhadap U so you will have negative exponent negative U isn't it so 0 pi 0 anti pi over 2 negative exponent negative U you all akan dapat 0 anti 1 sin phi d phi d theta lah ok so now substitute Mm, negative exponent negative u lah. Negative 1 minus negative exponent 0 sin phi d phi d theta so this one jadi 1 okay so negative negative becomes positive so this can be taken out 1 over 3 1 minus exponent negative 1 like this so 0 anti pi, 0 anti pi over 2 sin phi d phi d theta. So we can proceed with the integration of sin phi. Kita akan dapat negative cos phi. So we will have 1 over 3, 1 minus exponent negative 1. Macam tadi lah ni guys, negative cos pi over 4, eh pi over 4, not pi over 2. Minus negative cos 0 d theta. This one you all dapat 0. This one dapat satu. So, 0 minus minus 1 becomes plus 1. Hmm. Oh, ni complicated kira ni. 1 over 3, 1 minus exponent negative 1. 0 until pi. Di data je lah. So, last kali you all akan dapat pi kan. So, pi over 3, 1 minus exponent negative 1. That's it. That's the answer. Okay. Next question, ni soal nombor apa ni? Question number 4. Okay, let's do question number 5. Hmm. Very interesting. Question number 5. Okay, so ah, we have two equations. Nampak simple but not that simple lah. Z equals to this and this. We have two graph here. Okay, we have Z equals to square root of and Z equals to square root of 8 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay guys, the first uh, equation, this, is representing a what? Hmm, bentuk apa tu? Hemisphere. Ya ke hemisphere? <laughs> cone. Cone. Oh yes, a cone, right? It's okay, nice try. A cone, yes. How about this, the second one? Hmm. Okay. Hemisphere, yes, a hemisphere. Okay, so saya dah tahu dah dia bentuk cone, lepas tu atas dia hemisphere, alright. Hmm. So now, okay. Daripada cone ni, kita boleh dapat apa ni guys? Kalau kita tengok dia punya ni kan. Z equals to x squared plus y squared square root of ni equals to r. So of course lah. Macam tadi juga, tangent phi equals to r over z. So phi, so tangent phi equals to 1. So phi equals to shift tangent 1. 
equals to pi over 4 so we have this lah hmm. and then from the second equation we have let's say we square both sides kita akan dapat macam ni so we will have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 8 therefore rho squared equals to 8 therefore rho equals to square root of 8 uh, so hemisphere kita dengan radius square root 8 Okay, now um, we have this region R. Kalau you tengok region R ni, you have to be careful eh. Sebab region R ni, X equals to, okay, we have X equals to 0 anti square root of 4 minus Y squared. And then limit of y from 0 until 2. Hmm, like this. Okay, so now hmm, x from 0 until square root of 4 minus y squared. Ni bentuk apa guys sebenarnya? Semi-circle. semi yes. Semi-circle kan? Semi-circle. Okay, however, however. Okay, semi-circle ni belah mana? Let's say saya nak sketch region R. Region R. Hmm, semi-circle tu belah mana guys? Uh, kiri kanan atas bawah? Kanan. Kanan, yes. Good. Very good. On the right. Because we have x, uh, x positive means on the right. So we have this. Okay, the radius should be 2 lah kan? Here is 2, here is negative 2. Okay, however, however your interval for y is starting from 0 until 2. Which means that y dia tak ada negative. Okay, starting from 0. So y equals to 0 kat tengah-tengah ni. So, we don't have this part. So, we can erase this. Macam tu. Okay, this sebenarnya suku circle je. Ha. So, ini region R ni akan affect kita punya region G keseluruhan ni. Sebab dia suku je tu. So, region G, kalau kita sketch region G ni. So guys, from here, kita akan tahu apa daripada region R ni? Ha, sebelum saya terlupa. Kita akan tahu limit apa? Theta, right? Theta from 0 until theta equals to? Pi over 2. Yes, pi over 2. Okay, so dah selesailah sebenarnya. Kalau you buat step ni pun, you dah tahu dah limit semua ni. So, saya just sketch the region so that you have a better understanding lah. Macam ni guys, dalam final exam nanti, kalau soalan tu dia tak suruh sketch region, dia tak payah sketch region pun tak apa. Tapi kalau dia suruh sketch region, ah, you kena sketch region lah. Okay, x, y and z. Apa kata tadi, dia ada hemisphere, dia ada cone. So dia macam ni. Hemisphere and then kita ada cone. Okay, however, kita punya region dari tu dia hanyalah suku je. Okay, sekejap eh, saya padang dulu yang tak berkenaan ni. Ni tak ada. We just have an ice cream cone. So, ni tak ada. So, ni tak ada, tak ada, tak ada. Okay, tapi. Hmm, sekejap. Ni cantik sikit lah. Ha, ni kan. Okay. Uh, from 
above, we can see only this quarter circle ni. Quarter circle ni yang ni je. Yang ni je. So actually guys, our graph region G is just like this. Ni sampai sini je. And then... So we don't have uh, ni sampai sini. Okay, kita hanya ada uh, suku es krim tu. So ni kita boleh padam lah. Boleh imagine tak guys? Boleh, es krim belum empat. Betul lah tu, es krim belum empat. Ha. Ha, macam tu. Okay. Ni straight line ni, cap saya touch up sikit. Gitu, touch up. Hmm. Ha, dia macam tu. Okay, so here is square root 8. Of course, the values of phi here. Phi equals to pi over 4. And then the theta here. Equals to pi over 2. Okay, yeah. from here to here. Hmm. So, dia nak apa soal ni sebenarnya? Oh, dia suruh convert. Okay, okay, okay. So, we will have... Uh, soalan dia tadi, 0 until 2. And then 0 until square root of 4 minus y square. And then square root of x square plus y square. And then this one, 8 minus x square minus y square. And then this one, we have z square, dz, dx, dy, dz, dx, dy. Okay. So, dz, dx, dy. So, now kita tahu dah tadi. Semua sekali ni. Rho from 0 until square of 8. Kan? Square of 8. Okay. And then, phi dia daripada 0 until pi over 4. And then, theta from 0 until pi over 2. Okay, z squared in spherical. Hmm. Z squared in spherical equals to Rho cos phi squared kan? Okay. From the formula. Yang tadi tu, kita belajar starting kelas tu. Ha ni. Z equals to rho cos phi. Okay. So Z squared jadi rho cos phi squared lah. So now this Z dx dy macam tadi jugalah. Okay, it becomes rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. Okay, so we will have rho to the power of 4 cos phi sine phi d rho d phi d theta. Okay, so integrate rho to the power of 4, we will have rho to the power of 5. 0 until pi over 2. And then 0 until pi over 4. Okay, rho to the power of 5 over 5. So substitute 0 and square root of 8. Cos phi sine phi d rho d phi d theta. Eh, tak ada lah di rho. Sorry, sorry. Kita tak ada dah lah di rho ni. Ha. So, we will have, eh, cos squared. Hmm, tengok saya dah careless lah. Cos squared sebab tadi kita kuasa 2 ni kan. So, square root of 8. Square root of 8 ni kuasa 5. Square root of 8 to the power of 5 means uh, square root of 8 to the power of 4. 
So, bila square root of 8 to the power of 4 jadi 64 lah. 64 square root 8. Ha, macam tu. Okay, so we can take the uh, constant outside. So, we have 64 square root of 8 over 5 like this. Integrate 0 anti pi over 2, 0 anti pi over 4, cos squared phi sine phi, d phi d theta. So, macam mana nak integrate ni? What should we do now? Any idea guys? Substitute? Yes, good. Substitute. We substitute what? We let u equals to what? Cos phi, isn't it? Cos. We let u equals to cos. Yes, very good. Let u equals to cos phi. So differentiate u, we will have negative sine phi d phi. Ha, gitu. Okay, so um, of course lah, d phi dia jadi du, negative du over sine phi. So again, I substitute the limit first. So when phi equals to pi over 4, we will have u equals to cos pi over 4 is equivalent to 1 over square root 2. And then when phi equals to 0, we will have u equals to cos 0 equals to 1. So automatically, our integration will turn into 64 square root of 8 over 5, integration from 0 until 5 over 2. And then we change the interval, the interval, but the limit. So 5 over 2, eh, sorry. Okay, yani, yani, ha. 5 over 4 becomes 1 over square root 2. So we have 1 over square root 2 and then 0 ni jadi 1. So we have one here like this. Okay. Cos squared. Cos squared dia jadi u squared. Sin phi d phi becomes negative du over sin phi d theta. So this one can be cancelled. So integrate negative u squared je lah. Kan? Okay. Now integrate negative u squared. So 64 square of 8 over 5, 0 until 5 over 2, negative u cube over 3, isn't it? So substitute 1 over square root 2, 1, mm, d theta. So dia akan jadi, let's say I take out the negative uh, 1, over, 1 over 3 tu, saya bawa keluar. So, this is negative 64 square root of 8 over 3 times 5, n. And then, kita akan dapat 0, pi over 2, 1 over square root 2 cube. So, this is the negative 2, so, dapat keluar. so 1 over square root 2 cube like this. Right, so I can erase this. This becomes 2 over square root 2, macam ni, 2 over square root 2. Okay, so but 1 over square root 2 cube means 1 over square root 2 times square root 2 times square root 2. Right? So this is 2 over square root 2. Macam tu lah. Okay, and then minus 1. 1 cube is 1 lah. D theta. Mm. Mm. So bila pindah keluar, dia akan jadi 64 square root of 8 over 15, 1 minus 1 over 2 square root 2 like this lah. Okay, and then integration from 0 until pi over 2 d theta, it becomes pi over 2 lah. So 64 over 15 uh, square root of 8. 1 minus 1 over 2 square root 2 times pi over 2. Ini boleh cancel lagi ni. 
So dia akan jadi uh, this one 32 isn't it? So 32 So kita akan dapat um, 32 over 15 Square root 8 ni Kejap eh, square root 8 Kalau kita kecikkan yang ni Dari atas dia jadi 2 Over square root 2 minus 1 2 over square root 2 like this kan Darab dengan pi Hmm, ni square root 8 ni dia adalah sama dengan 4 kali 2 8 kan so 4 square root 4 jadi 2 darab square root 2 lah sama eh so this can be cancelled dengan kat bawah yang ni ok so 32 jadi jadi step by step lah company pula 32 over 15 uh, times 2 square root 2 multiply by 2 square root 2 minus 1 2 square root 2 times pi so this one uh, ni yang saya kata tadi ni cancel dua ni so the final answer would be 32 um, jap, 2 square root 2 minus 1 times pi sama tak? Mana jawapan? Nombor apa? Nombor lima? Nombor five? Hmm, sama lah. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Kalau saya jawab dalam decimal boleh? Boleh, boleh. Final answer. Hmm, boleh. Saya, kalau saya jadi, saya yang makin saya benarkan, saya bagi. Tapi kena accurate lah guys. Up to four decimal places. Four decimal places. Hmm, four decimal places eh. Decimal places. Um, then doctor, can I ask if let's say we don't do this method if we use like a trigonometry identity channel? Trigonometry identity? Yeah, to do this question. Hmm, you nak guna yang mana tu? Uh, for the course. Uh, okay. can you okay. one, two, so one, one minus sine square. Ah, something mm. like that. Can I? Oh, yeah. As long as you dapat jawapan yang sama. Okay. 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 <laughs> Alright. It's up to you actually, guys. As long as you dapat jawapan yang sama lah sebenarnya. Dan as long as you can integrate it. Okay, sometimes kalau kita guna uh, trigonometric identity, sometimes you tak nak integrate. Tapi kalau you boleh integrate, post it je lah. Okay, it doesn't matter. Alright, so 5.36 already. Guys, I think I should stop here now. Uh, don't worry, I will share with you the rest of the solutions later. Okay, is that okay guys?